Welcome, everybody. I am Courtney, and along with my girlfriend, JJ, we are on an adventure with our cat waffles to see as much of the country as we possibly can. We set out from Florida, and we are now in Winthrop, Washington. Follow along with us as we see it before it's gone. Hey, yo. Okay. What's up, guys? Say what's up to waffles. Hey, you okay? You okay? You trying to bite me? Waffles is relaxing and he's very annoyed uh, with my energy, which, you know, my energy can be annoying, so I get it. Dog pound. Dog pound. Okay. Tonight we are doing something here in Winthrop, Washington that we have not gotten a chance to do. We're gonna have an adventure out in town. We're gonna go to dinner first and then there's a surprise we have not done this in, I can't tell you the last time I've done it. I don't know when the last time JJ's done it. We saw a lot of people doing it when we were in New York City and we never got a chance to. And now here in the mountains of the North Cascades, we are going to have our chance. Stay tuned because this is going to be crazy. We've had like, probably like a solid two weeks of microphone. And in that two weeks, that battery has managed to die instantly every time. I, don't, I know I'm not fully charging it, but... <sighs> So, welcome to the old school sound. We plan on charging, I don't know, we're gonna charge on this journey. So on this adventure, we're gonna find a place to plug in and charge. So by the time we get to the meat of the adventure, we should have some audio, at least on one of us. Probably JJ, cause. Here at camp, we are on the Metau River. We kind of laid low for a little bit because the temperature was dumb crazy. I mean, I didn't think this valley was gonna get to triple digits. Not only did it get to triple digits, but it stayed in triple digits. And I mean, it's like direct sun. There's no shade, it's mountain desert. It got bad. So now that we're back out, we should be doing stuff, right? Yeah, we're doing stuff. Oh, here we go, baby. This is the path that we walk pretty much daily. Yeah, I would say every day takes us to this beautiful bike path and it also takes us to town to the gym the uh, farmer shed oh yeah to the farmer shed we'll take you to the farmer shed once we get a chance and if you have cool shoes on or you don't wash your legs this field is pretty bad just kicking up dust we're a house that washes our legs yeah we wash the whole leg if we were on Game of Thrones, we would be house wash leggings. Oh, house wash leggings. <laughs> What's our sigil? Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's a it's a dragon, it's a leg, and some lotion. Oh, very trogdor. The dragon? That's easy. Feel free to follow along with my simple step-by-step -step instruction. <laughs> What's the, what's the Bill Bellamy? Oh. It's not a Bill Bellamy. It's a Bellamini. But shout out to Bill Bellamy. Who you did comedy once with? Once. We were in the same comedy club. I wasn't on the show though. But he was really nice. I got to talk to him for a minute. Didn't he come and... Yo, he, come, he came and hang out. Hung out for a minute. Hello. Good, how are you? Good. Uh, do you have an unsweet iced tea? Yes. Can I have an unsweet iced tea, please? Some time to check out the menu. Uh, yes, please. Right, I'll be right back here. Iced tea. Thank you. Thank you. Did he come and share the stage? Well, you could. His opener came oh, into right. the show, or his he middle. Just hung out his for middle, that. yeah, his middle came into the show, and he hung out, and then I got to talk to him afterwards. But shout out to Belly. How to be a player? Okay. Uh, what country does a true bohemian live? A true bohemian? Uh -huh. True bohemian. Um, is it New York City? Oh, Czechoslovakia. <laughs> Never would have guessed. Never would have guessed Czechoslovakia. Who played the title role in Maud? The, the lady with the dark hair. I don't remember. I don't know her name. Okay. The lady with the dark hair. Yeah, who was that? That's not even right. No, who was it? The lady with the gray hair. 
Oh, it's I know. dark. I know. Oh. V. Arthur. <laughs> Is it V. Arthur? Yo. <laughs> oh, God. Unless <laughs> I was like five on that show. <laughs> oh, there's a. There's a they, they remade this into a show. What high school did Archie go to? They remade it into a show. Mm -hmm. um, past times at Richmond High. No, Riverdale. Oh. oh, that's what that show's based on? Did not know that. I'm not, I don't know. Oh. It, it could be though. It could be. It feels like it is. Oh, Gossip Girl. Yeah. <laughs> You're never gonna know this one. Oh, thanks. But you should know this one. Oh, no. So I'm gonna expose you in there's, front of everyone. There's pressure, there's so much pressure. What kind of apple is on the Beatles? What kind of apple is on the Beatles apple label? Oh, you know I don't know. Macintosh. No. Uh, Granny Smith. Yes. You? <laughs> no thanks. Yeah. Why do you wanna eat one of mine? Cause it looks good. Get out of here. All right. There we go. Now, of course, you can eat one of them. Big JJ move is to uh, eat her food, but like eyeballing mine to size up which one she wants. That's just classic girlfriend stuff. Mm. I don't definitely don't think we got this before. Awesome. Got that on camera though. Not editing that out. How's that gluten free crust? It's a bit soft, but. <laughs> All right, just got back from the pizza place. Well, East just twenty pizza. East twenty pizza is where we went. What's your What's your review? What right. rating do you give it? So this is my first time having gluten free crust. First time going to a pizza place and ordering a gluten free crust. First time talking on camera too. <laughs> First, I'm going to a pizza place and ordering a group. Oh. Gluten free. <laughs> I am gluten I am, free. I am gluten. <laughs> you are gluten. Yeah, so I'm really, I'm really, I got to avoid tree bark. And uh, <laughs> so gluten free pizza, and it was pretty good. Um, I got a three peas, which is pepperoni, uh, pepperoni, and pesto. Uh, and it comes with a little feta cheese. You know, your boy also lactose intolerant as well as gluten free. I'm living all my don't put that processed bull in my body um, as I carry pizza. It was good. I give it a seven out of 10. I got the Greek pizza, which was tomatoes, feta, parm, mozz, three kinds of cheese, black olives and spinach and pesto. And it was good. I would say my review is, it's a loose interpretation of the idea of pizza. But as long as you don't go into it thinking like this is gonna be pizza, then it's good. I mean, I don't know who comes to the mountain valley of the North Cascades and goes, I really want some authentic pizza. Yeah, I you're really, not gonna find that here. You're gonna find some decent pizza. This is not bad pizza. Yeah. I've never had gluten-free crust before that wasn't from uh, a frozen pizza brand. Uh, so having it from an actual pizza place, it, it was really good. Great now dessert. we're on our way to go get dessert. Then we're gonna take you to the surprise. But I wanted to show you, this is the um, bike path that we walk on pretty much every day. It's really nice, it's really beautiful. It's quiet, in the late afternoons it's shady. And this is how we get into town. It's like a mile to two mile walk. It's a really nice two mile walk. Uh, yeah, so from the campsite, um, it's probably about a mile and a half door to door. From yeah. our RV to town, it's about a mile and a half. Which surprisingly, shout out to anyone who lives in a walking city uh, because uh, that doesn't seem like a lot. That doesn't seem far. But for some reason, whenever I point it out at work, like, hey, it's a quick mile and a half walk into town, people actually grimace and they're just like, mm, that's a bit too far. Really excellent high skill camera work by JJ. Bad talking skills though. <laughs> Look at camera work skills. Okay, uh, gluten free crust. <laughs> I am how many How many takes did it take him to just talk about his pizza? Eight? They won't know. They don't know. <laughs> this is movie magic. Now you gotta leave them all in. There's probably a bad cut somewhere in ordering a gluten free. Like two seconds ago <laughs> that you didn't even notice. You were like, oh, look at Courtney and his bad cuts. No, tell them what he said there. It cuts to a different day. He's wearing a totally different <laughs> outfit so he can finish talking about oh, the I've pizza. Done that. Oh, I've, we've done that before. <laughs> don't talk about my bad editing during this video. Don't expose me.
we are coming up to the Spring Creek Bridge, which was put in in 2011. Uh, it is probably one of the most fun features uh, for this walk into town. Uh, the Spring Creek Bridge is a cable, Spring Creek spring, 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 Bridge. Uh, it's a cable bridge um, that goes over the Metow River and uh, it's beautiful. And is, it, is a cable bridge the same thing as a suspension bridge? What is the difference? All right, so now we got to look get up. Get our bridge nerds to sound off in the comments. That would be great. Uh, yeah, what's the difference between a cable bridge and a suspension bridge? But the view up here uh, is amazing. And when we get to the middle, we'll show you. So straight across... Uh, this is haze because there are wildfires going on. So I don't know if you can see that brown layer, that brown orangey tint that's going across. That is wildfire smoke. But on a clear day, you can see these peaks here very clearly. These were snow capped, but they're no longer snow capped. I don't know if you can tell by this orangey brown layer, that's all smoke from a forest fire. Uh, so it's usually clear out there, but this is the view uh, from walking into town. One wild thing out here is if you open food, if you have anything to eat, if you're cooking something in any way, the yellow jackets will swarm you. And I don't know where, where they're coming from, but they, they, it happens in camp and it also happens sitting outside of the pizza place. I wish we would have recorded it and showed you, but we were too busy smacking yellow jackets. Sometimes at 42, you find out that you're not a roller skate, even though you've never really roller skated a day in your life. This is skating for the first time at 42 years old. Shout out to Crystal's Rink and the DMV. Grew up going, grew up not skating, just playing in the arcades. The Simpsons game, if you know, you know. But now, your boy got wheels. Don't pay attention to that. That was wobbly. But your boy got wheels. Oh, yeah, this rules. <laughs> <laughs> California games, watch out. <laughs> that was that was a that was a tough turn. Turning's hard. I got this part down, I haven't gotten the turn part. You see me rolling, they hate Uh oh, oh it's beat skating. <laughs> Thank you. 
What did you think about roller skating, Bill? I think roller skating was fun. Uh, and I also found out uh, that I can roller skate. Did not know that. I'm not like super good, but I am way better than I expected it to be. Yeah, for your first time ever, you were really yeah. good. You were, as soon as I got out there, he was cruising. I uh, used to skate at this place called Crystals um, in Maryland, outside of DC when I was younger. Crystals is no longer there. Um, and I mean, that used to be the hangout, but like I never really skated. I went for the arcade and let everybody else skate. Yeah. So that's the first time skating. That was really fun. How did you, how did, how did you feel? Um, I felt good. I felt like a confident 41 year old woman not breaking any bones. Right? With just the helmet on, no elbow pads, no knee pads, no, no wrist, wrist guard. Pads. Yeah, we, we, I think we did well. Yeah. I only almost fell twice. The first one was bad. The second one, eh, wasn't that bad. But that was really fun. I would do that again. Uh, yeah, no, it's a Friday thing. We're coming back. Um, I don't know if it's going to be pizza and roller skating, but we're going to figure out what the combo is. Definitely doing that again. Yeah. I couldn't get JJ out of there. It was too get, fun. I couldn't get JJ out of there. It was too fun. It was, I was just like, uh, you ready to kind of like tie this up? And she was like, one more lap. One more lap. One more lap. I don't think I've roller skated since high school. I think so. I mean, once we, you, you are, you came out there and you were cruising. You not only, it's like paddle boarding, standing paddle boarding where you're like, you didn't fall. You didn't almost look like you were going to fall. It was just like a steady, cool pace the whole time. You're That's because I did all my almost going to fall moves when you were looking. This is one of the first times where we get out there and do something and find out you're way better at it than I am. How about time? So Crystal's was the roller rink in my town. Did you have one? Yeah, we had one called Skateland. Skateland roller rink. And it was like really run down, really old. The floor was like this. <laughs> Because oh. it was so warped. Oh. Uh, no, Crystal's was like, Crystal Skating Palace, Skating Rink, was like like the teen club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like where, um, like the really cool place to have your birthday party in middle school. Yeah. Um, and I remember my parents were stationed in South Carolina. And I remember they skated in South Carolina. And like all my friends inline roller skated. That, that was a section of the 90s where blading was super cool. Yeah. Could never do it. I had a pair of roller blades. Could never do it. I couldn't do it either. I, you know, I think it's just the confidence. I think we've had so many run-ins where we were just like, <sighs> <laughs> We've seen so much where we're just like, what's falling on roller skates really? Well, we're not teenagers anymore. Our bones are a lot more brittle. True. We don't just bounce off the floor anymore. Oh my gosh. Well, that floor was pretty plastic, so maybe. Yeah, that was a good floor. I liked it. I will say that um, a lot of people walked by while we were just two grown-ass adults out there skating by ourselves. So Shuckling, not just skating. <laughs> Shuckling and skating. Just <laughs> and so maybe we made it look good enough that next time we won't be the only two people out there. Maybe next time other people will come and skate too. This cool couple right here, <laughs> CNC Music Factory playing in the background. What doesn't feel like a teenage... Uh, a scene out of your teenage years for everyone walking by. So fun. <clears throat> but I'm very glad that no one else was there because I needed all that space. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Turning around took a whole, the whole rink yeah. worth of space. This is part of the adventures. Um, this is part of why we were out here. Yeah. Uh, doing things that we either haven't done in a long time or have never done before. Or uh, just wouldn't do in New York. Or just wouldn't do in New York. So we've kayaked, standing paddle board, uh, mountain biked, skated. Yeah. I feel like this I did some this other also there. does give me the confidence now to go back to New York. You know, they have that new um, roller rink that's on the pier. Oh, yeah. So down in the Brooklyn Pier, there is a roller rink. And, and now, it's, a, it's a vibe. Yeah, maybe now we'll have the confidence to get out there with all those badass skaters. Uh, maybe, or maybe out in Central Park. No, listen, uh, this, this is it. This was the day. Uh, pizza, roller skating, really, really good day. Uh, we needed this day. We needed the cool weather. We needed to get away. And for some reason, I fell in this this hole of of work camping. And JJ fell in this hole of just like actual working. And uh, this is that wasn't what we were here for. We were here to do things like this. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you don't subscribe, please subscribe. Please tell your friends. Please pass it on. Please don't pass it on. It doesn't even matter. Do, do what you want. Do what you want to do. You guys know, are adults. Do what you want. You know, you know, we don't care, but we care. We love you. We appreciate you being here. But if you hated this and you still watching, 
Do whatever. that too. That's fun. <laughs> Good for you. Make fun of us. <laughs> uh, but we're going to have another video next week. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for tuning in. And you know what we say. At, At the, the end, end of the, of the day. day.